geographically significant places for one of these wind farms. And that's because we going down here from the Los Angeles Basin into the Mojave Desert. So it decreases in altitude. It also is sandwiched between these two mountain ranges, as you can see here. So uh, there's a lot of wind, as you can see. Even today, there's lots of wind. I'm standing here in the month of December, but it pretty much blows during all seasons of the year, producing a lot of electricity through these wind turbines. Now, the placement of these wind turbines all has to do with geography, right? Where these winds blow down between these two mountain ranges, that's geography. The actual placement of the turbines themselves to maximize the amount of electricity being generated, that has to do with geography too. And of course, these mountains are here because of geography. We've got the San Andreas Fault that actually runs along the base of these mountains here, out toward Joshua Tree National Park. So, uh, a lot of this has to do with geography. In fact, it's difficult to think of the placement of these wind turbines as not having to do with geography. So indeed, if we wanted to site another wind farm somewhere else across the world, we'd have to take into account geographical factors like elevation, climate, landforms, and so on.